first tool we're going to talk about is a symmetry ruler. This tool is my personal favorite in Ivy's paint. It can help you create a symmetrical sketch or art without any hassle at all. This is also the best tool for beginners who are having a hard time making identical sides of their art. Example, if you want to draw a full frontal face or body and you want both sides perfectly matched, it is best to use the symmetry ruler and it will really help you save time making your art. This is the wonder of digital arts. You can easily make a full frontal portrait by just doing one side and you let the two do the rest. The next tool we're going to talk about is a reflecting tool. Most beginner artists struggle with minor or major anatomical error. It is either facial feature or body posture. Sometimes we tend to draw something and perceive it as already balanced, but if someone looked at it, it may seem a little off or there are parts that are not quite in the right place. For this example, I flipped my self-sketch using the reflecting tool and managed to see that my mouth looks a little off, so I took this chance to arrange it using the lasso tool. Professional artists actually use the reflecting tool to flip their canvas and see early on the progress if there is something off with their sketch, and they could easily identify the error and adjust it. The next tool is the bucket tool. I know, everyone knows about the bucket tool already, but what I'm going to talk about is the settings. And this is very important for beginner artists to know. When doing your base color, we tend to use the color fill or bucket tool to save time and have perfectly colored line art. Or is it? If you actually use the default settings of the tool, the color fills only up to the inner edge of the line art. Therefore, when you remove your lines, you will see this blank gap between the colors that looks pixelated and unrefined. This can actually be a problem if you are aiming for a semi-realism art style or a lineless art style. The settings is best fixed in 21st strength and 2 to 2.5 expansion dependent on your line thickness. If you do this, your color will fill under the lines up to the outer edge without overlapping. Now watch closely as I fill my base color and you can see that the color is also extending under the lines. I also made sure that I use different layers to separate each body parts of my drawing. This will layer on help me identify each part when I remove the lines. As you can see here, all the parts are perfectly covered. Now, we are ready to do some shading. The next tool we're going to talk about is the clipping and alpha lock. You may be wondering why this clipping and alpha lock you are seeing in the player tab. I know you have seen tenured artists out there when they do their shadings or apply colors on a specific part of their drawing. One example is when they are doing the anime hair. And you may be wondering why the shadows or the colors they apply on the base color are not overlapping or not crossing the other parts. The answer is, it's the magic of the alpha look and the clipping tool. This is actually a tool best used when you are adding highlights, shadows, colors, or any other details on a specific layer. Clipping in alpha lock helps you contain the detail you are adding on the drawing of a specific layer to avoid overlapping or affecting your other layers. To use this tool, just open a new layer on top of the layer you are working on, then click clipping or stay on your current layer and click alpha lock if you don't want to open or make a new layer. Finally, we have the blending mode. I will talk about the different types of blending modes in a different video, but I will teach you how this is used to give you an idea. 
The planning mode works well with the clipping tool. This tool is usually used to add effects on the colors you are using. Common uses for highlights and shadow or shading. For example, you can use multiply if you want to add shadow or you can use color dodge to add light effects or highlights and more. Bonus hack time! Let's talk about pressure sensitivity. I know, I know, it's locked. And you don't have a solar fence to unlock it. However, you don't actually need one. Just plug your headset jack and voila! It's unlocked. Now you can use your pressure sensitivity tool to perfect your lines without any hassle. You don't have to go back and forth to brush settings to change your brush size anymore. With pressure sensitivity, your line thickness depends on the pressure of your strokes. You can change its sensitivity based on what suits you the best. And that's it for this video! I hope you learned something new from this tutorial, and I will make a part 3 as soon as I learn new things about Ivy's main tools. I will definitely share it to you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I love you all. If you are not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to help my channel grow. Thank you.